Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Gamers Love Language Podcast. Happy Sunday, you guys. And hello, my name is Jackie, aka Gutsy, on Twitch. My name is Nick, aka Ebbles, on Twitch. And today we're just gonna be talking about how to collaborate, how to network, how to make connections on stream. Um, as well as on other platforms, which I think like this topic is going to be a really fun one to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, getting into about organic networking and networking specifically on the Twitch platform and how you can go about it in an organic, genuine way mm-hmm. is going to be really awesome to dive into. Mm-hmm. So, um, but before we get into that, as always, what were some of the, <laughs> the things that happened to you this past week? Oh. Something good. Let's see. I think this week, well, one, this week was just chaotic. Yeah. Like, work-wise. If you guys don't know, I'm a pre-K teacher outside of streaming and the pod. I teach pre-K. And this week was just wild. Like, the kids were cuckoo crazy. And I (laughs) had such a hard time with them. But it's okay. We made it through the end of the week. And Mm -hmm. then Friday stream was so, so much fun for me. Mm -hmm. Um, One of my favorite uh, streamers slash content creators came in to stream Mm -hmm. Cozy Games, Kennedy. And uh, she was just so kind and so amazing. She followed and then gifted five subs which just like it was such a highlight it was so sweet it just it's so amazing when you get to meet like the people who inspire you and um it's so wonderful when you get to meet the people that inspire you and it was just so sweet when she gifted those subs it made me so happy and uh i feel very blessed that that happened yeah. and then this morning um i went and got taylor swift's um new vinyl from the folklore long pond studio Mm -hmm. session uh vinyl and i'm gosh i'm over the moon it's so pretty and i literally woke up and we bolted out the door to go get it (laughs) nick's a little bit better about it but maybe you can explain why so basically not only uh did we wake up and um try our best to like get out the door but i had to wake up a little bit earlier because um i have family members that live relatively close to us and they whenever they go out of town they have a lot of animals Mm -hmm. so when they leave they ask us primarily me to take care (laughs) of their animals like feed them do their medications and all the fun stuffs there so typically we have a morning routine where we'll wake up and both jackie and i will go and do that Uh Uh, however (laughs) i woke up and jackie was like "Uh uh-uh i'm not going nope Mm -hmm. not doing it and then i was like (laughs) sick okay sounds like a plan (laughs) and then i get back home and jackie preference like preface behind this like we talked about this every like we we are a unit when we go and do that because it's like a way for us to spend time together Mm -hmm. um but i get back home after like she get got to sleep in and then she plugs in her phone and it's like oh my gosh this is out we have to go like (laughs) up and out of the like ready to go within like three minutes no joke and i'm like huh so you'll get out of bed for (laughs) taylor swift but you won't get out of bed for your husband (laughs) love that priorities priorities am i right yeah priorities anything for taylor uh anything for taylor but for me this past week uh it was a little rough um if you can't tell my voice is still a little like raspy I was dealing with like a weird sickness all of like since last episode podcast so last Sunday uh, up until this past week it was rough like I was suffering from something like this weird cough Uh, my voice was like just shot like Mm -hmm. I think it was either laryngitis or like a throat infection so I've been getting over that Uh, I feel a lot better now but I did take some time away from like my day job worked remotely which um, was very needed i didn't Mm -hmm. want to get anybody else sick but other than that um sponsorships i let everybody know about this last week that's been awesome doing the weekly giveaways Mm -hmm. every single friday on stream is awesome uh just being able to continue to like build these relationships and yeah like i think last week also i said i was on the cusp of getting to 300 people in my discord Mm -hmm. we crushed that goal we're actually now (laughs) getting to a point of having 350 this week i think i'm at like 342 the growth is insane yeah i can't believe it just in like a week span of getting 40 people into a server 
um, is insane. So I think it's going to be really doable uh, or, or achievable for my goal of wanting to hit a thousand members in my Discord by the end of the year. Totally. So seeing that transaction is awesome. I'm so excited for that. I and, can't wait. Yeah, and just so that we can kind of dive in, that translates over into um, the episode of organic growth on twitch Mm -hmm. and just building relationships and building a community yeah so do you want to start us off with uh just kind of the first point about how you can network and grow organically on twitch so i would say for the first thing to help you grow definitely engagement not just with like your chat but engagement in other people's streams engagement in other people's discords yep it's all about putting yourself out there but not Mm -hmm. self-promoing if you can explain just a little bit about that I'd appreciate that because I'm still new to this you guys as you know I've only been streaming for now two and a half months Um, so I'm still learning and growing but you've been in the game for a really long time so can you give some like pointers and tips how you do that Mm -hmm. yeah so uh, there is a fine line we've hit it a little bit in the previous episodes but the fine line is when you're going into somebody's stream and you're a first-time chatter on Twitch, that is shown. So regardless if you see it yourself or not, Mm -hmm. the streamer will see first time chatter any single time. So it highlights it. uh Uh-huh, so that's a big thing and sometimes you can't see that yourself as the viewer. Mm -hmm. So when, if your first message is, OMG, you play this game, I stream this game too, that can come across as a little, Yikes! Like a little, it's like it's a little <laughs> self, a little self promo that like yeah. as a streamer, somebody looking at, into that is like cool. Like it's like cool, but there are streamers out there who are very like supportive and like welcoming to things like that. But that's not everybody, mm-hmm. of course. Like there are some people who are just like mm, like don't say that or don't do that. Right. But so it just depends. But the, you would never know. Right. The 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 way that you go about networking and building a relationship is you want to focus in on that first they are live streaming and you're a viewer Mm -hmm. so you have to take away your streamer role that you have for yourself because Mm -hmm. other people don't know that about you yeah just as like again i think i said this in the previous podcast you wouldn't go in with a brand new relationship that you're like trying to nurture in a like real life scenario like and say hey Will you be my girlfriend? And that's the first words out of your mouth to somebody you want. Somebody brand new. Exactly. That you walked up to now. You would Also, like, if you were in real life and you're like, hey, I stream, come follow me. People would be like, what? Yeah. (laughs) So you don't want to catch somebody off guard Mm -hmm. when you're going about building a new relationship. If you want to build a relationship, and that's what this entire episode is going to be about, you have to go about it in a way of like hyping them up, yeah. going into their channel, being the most engaging viewer that they've ever seen on their exactly. channel. Exactly. Because if that is the case and it's somebody or and your name is associated to like, dang, I had a really good stream today because Ebels or Getsy came in and was just like super active Mm -hmm. they were they were hyping me up they were giving me tips they were asking me about my day it made it a lot easier because let's face it there is like when you're when you're trying to grow as a streamer it's really hard to talk 100 percent of the time it's really hard to be talking to yourself be talking to a dead chat so having an engaging viewer that is talking to you and allowing you to make content and having a conversation makes it so much more enjoyable so being that viewer for somebody else will lighten up their day and then they'll think back on like dang yeah that person was so sweet yep be the viewer that you would hope would be in your stream that's like the biggest way like treat people the way that you want to be treated that's Mm -hmm. the golden rule be the viewer that you want others to be for you yeah i think that's a great way to kind of talk about engagement Mm -hmm. um so Hopefully that brings up some perspective. Again, if you have any other questions on like how you can go about it in a genuine manner, because eventually, like, well, we can talk about it right now. How how would you naturally bring up that you're streaming in a Twitch conversation? Mm. I think if the streamer asks you, if yep. you have like cool emotes, like that's a one way to kind of plug Absolute, yourself. Like, use huge. your emotes. 
use your emotes. Sometimes people will just love them and they'll be like, oh my gosh, what a cute like Pikachu. You have so many cool Pikachu emotes. You have mm -hmm. one of like a head banging Pikachu. People love that one. Yep. Okay. That one gets you noticed sometimes and people are like, where do you get those emotes from? A, like who's a... the streamer you get those uh -huh. from? And it's like, oh, they're actually mine. And they're like, oh my gosh, you stream. Like that's such a great way to do that organically. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any other ways that you would like kind of delve into hinting at it? Or mm. uh, I feel I, like that's the only way that you could do it without. Well, a big one is actually through Discord. So this is a really yes. shameless way of doing mm -hmm. it. So that's a really good point that Jackie just brought up about using your own emotes because your emote has a prefix that is associated to your channel. If they click on that emote, then it, your channel will show up. So that's huge. Mm -hmm. Discord is another way. By joining other streamers' discords, and you can set a custom status mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for your discord. And I have my custom status as my live stream. So I have it as my live streaming link. So www.twitchtv.r slash official levels, right? The other thing too is by having your Twitch account associated and linked to your Discord, having that linkage mm -hmm. will actually allow somebody to click on your Discord profile and have a hyperlink directly over to your Twitch channel. Yes. So if you're in a lot of active servers and you are engaging and you can even maybe even get a streamer role from the creator or owner of that server, mm -hmm then sometimes people will come and check you out just because a live streamer isn't live and they're looking for another community member True. and they'll see like, oh, True. this person's streaming. I've never checked out their channel. Let's see what they're about. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're active in that Discord server too. Yes. So that's a huge thing. Not only activity in live streams, but that is a great way to organically grow if you don't have Discord. If you don't have Discord, get one. That's mm -hmm. huge. We'll get into that a little bit later. But... I think that's a, like, again, the golden rule, treat people the way you want to be treated. If mm -hmm. you want to have an interactive chat room with your live streams, be an be, active chatter be that in other people's streams. Yeah, be that person. Make someone's stream, make someone's day. Cause people not will only, remember that. Yeah, because not only will it placate to you having a good remembrance for that streamer, yeah. but it's also getting your name out there in the category that you're streaming in. Oh yeah. Because uh, like you've chalked up to this too, like you've been active in other Dreamlight Valley streamers mm -hmm. chats and then you went live without telling people that you were even a streamer. Mm -hmm. And then people were like, oh my gosh, you were in so and so stream. Yeah. Yeah, and not like we do it on um, with a purpose of that or no. like a, there's not a, like I go into people's chats genuinely because I want to get to know the people in my category and and support each other. I think what's great about, I mean, I stream Dreamlight Valley. What's great about the category I'm in, it's very small, it's very niche. So like the streamers in there, we all know each other yep. and we all support each other so much. We all shout out each other all the time. Finding niche uh, categories on Twitch like that is a great way to yes. be able to grow yes. at a faster pace mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. It's a really fun one. It's, I love being in Dreamlight Valley category. It's so much fun. The mm -hmm. people, the ladies and the, the gals and pals in there, the guys in there, we're all so just like close and, and it's been fun. But I just like to go in there because I just genuinely want to know, like genuinely want to know those people. Mm -hmm. And then we, we all end up in each other's streams and in each other's discords, which is so much fun. Right. Um, it's like making friends. It's just like going with the intent of, intent of making a friend. And, um, and when you make friends with people, like ultimately you build that connection yep. and from their connections grow and you get to know their friends and their friends get to know you. It's just, it, it's, that's the snowball it's effect. It's, it's a little web. Yeah. That's, that's the, <laughs> that's the best way to go about it. Building relationships is how you will be able to grow as a content creator. Yeah. Your goal should not be, all right, I want to hit 50 viewers. Like that's a great goal. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You should always have goals. You should absolutely have goals for your channel and be able to like strive for that. But rather than only being like, okay, I want to hit 50 viewers and that's the only thing that's on your mind. Okay, sure. Have the, I want to hit 50 viewers, but have the, how many friends do I need to build? How many friendships yeah. and relationships do I need to build? to be able to get to that point. Yeah, that you get to build. It's not even that you need, but yeah. you get to. Like, that's the thing of just like, it's not a have to thing, it's a want to thing. Absolutely. And I think that's what makes a huge difference between just, you know, it feeling natural and, and real. This versus... is the difference between like business mindset that I have and the genuine mindset that my wife has. We both, but we both have, we both have it. <laughs> 
<laughs> we both have a bold You just communicate it in a much better way. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. But yeah, I just feel like um, focusing on the friendships and what comes from that is is going to ultimately grow and help you reach all of your goals that you, that you set for yourself. So like for Nick and I, we set weekly goals. Like yep. this week I said I wanted to hit... 500 followers on Twitch, which we did. Yep. I wanted to hit... Um, You're almost at 600 now, too. I know. I'm almost at 600. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. That was like... I should have uh, bumped it up a little bit. I got to make my goals bigger, okay? I, I wanted to hit 500 followers on Twitch. I wanted to hit 100 Discord server friends. Yep. And I think I put on... Oh, I wanted to reach 100 subs in mm-hmm. uh, for this month. And I, I like we guys we all crushed them i was like so ins- it was insane for that so it's really good to have those goals yep um but creating friendships and relationships is what gonna it's that's what's gonna help you get those goals so Absolutely. just networking is such a huge and part important part of that yep but also once you create friendships there's things like collaborations and hanging out with um your streamer friends and yep. your twitch friends eventually like that is something that is going to grow from that. And when we mean collaborating, we mean just like reaching out to them, being like, hey, do you want to play a game together on stream? Or Mm -hmm. do you want to, like, I'm... What I like to do is if I have a streamer friend that I know and love, in my announcements, I recently am now taking their live notification from like the self promo channel and I'm putting it in my announcements as like, Hey, my friend is streaming. Let's go show them love. Like that's a super great way to collaborate. Um, and you never, never ask for like for someone else to do that for you. I think it shows a lot more. It's just a lot better if like, that's a genuine natural thing that happens. Um, don't go around asking like, Hey, can you shout out my, my channel? Like that's definitely an etiquette thing. Especially while somebody is streaming that comes across, it will always come across as like schemey. Oh yeah. I guess. Don't be slimy. (laughs) Yeah. Like, and again, this is, We'll always preface this is not a way for us to bash on any member from our community. No, it's never this an individual. Is, it's just a broad statement. This is something that we see so often on the platform because not many people know about like this kind of level of awareness on like viewer etiquette and like how to go about like going and growing in an organic way. Because mm-hmm. I feel like, I mean, let's face it, the number one goal for the new upcoming generation is like their their dream job is content creation. Yeah. That's that's the current number one goal that most new generation people yeah. have for themselves. Yeah. And a way for you to grow organically is through building a relationship. And yeah. let's face it, like if you had to like put yourself in the shoes of somebody that's a large creator, if someone was just posting their own promo link or their own Discord link or their stream link in your server and that's the main thing that you saw or somebody was like hey like come and do this for me like and then i'll be your friend like like, you do this "Hmm." for me then i'll be your friend (laughs) that's not a great way to start off a relationship no you want to build that relationship you want to build that friendship and then monetization can come from Uh that a lot of other things can come from that and Mm -hmm. being that person and leading by example and that's what jackie and i really strive to do like shouting out like people on their birthdays like oh, i yeah. did that for c minor C minor gaming you guys need to follow c minor he's like, so I, fun <laughs> i went in and like on his birthday stream that he was doing because he was doing like a subathon or something along yeah. those lines like i shouted him out on my channel and mm-hmm. a lot of my members organically went over and hit him up with some follows and we boosted his channel a little mm-hmm. bit That was awesome to see. And those are the kinds of things that you want to be able to do and build relationships with people so that you have this organic nest egg Mm -hmm. to be able to show support to others. Yep. And be consistent in people's chats and people's streams. Even if you're just popping in for a couple minutes, but you're doing that every stream, Mm -hmm. they will know. Like they will know you. They will get to know you eventually. If you can't spend a whole hour on someone's stream, that is okay. Take yep. five minutes out of your day and say hi Pop because in. you are friends. Like you do want to say hi. Mm-hmm. Like that's a good thing. And I feel appreciative whenever any of my streaming friends or just like in general, just viewer friends yeah, come like in and say managing hi. Managing your friendships, mm-hmm. especially it's a it's a very different. It's not the same as you going to school and you know that you're going to be seeing somebody. Yes. This is a manual process mm-hmm. of you man or managing these yes. online friendships, yes. and that is crucial yep. to 
building relationships with online mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. especially if you're wanting to grow online. Yep. Know when your friends are going live. Um, have you know a have schedule the notifications and a time. on. Have notifications on. All those. Things. Even though it's Twitch so notifications always freaking break and they never they work. Always break. But just know your friend's schedules. <laughs> you, as a person, if you are a true friend, should know when they're going live. Yeah, because if your friend, for instance, in IRL, was really into, like, has a pottery class or a workout class, you, like... Let's put it this way. you got to know. They're yeah. not going to text you, like, hey, I'm going live. You need to know, like, hey, my friend's pottery class is at this time on this day, I'm going to go. You like, know exactly you know. when your friends are coming over to have a sleepover. You know the moment <laughs> in time that that's happening. You, If you're wanting to have a friendship and build a relationship yeah. with people online, you should know and treat that the exact same way of when they're going live yeah. so that you can be there to open the door and let totally. them in. Totally. Definitely. That's, a, right. that's a great analogy. We love that. Another thing, um, utilize social media. Outside of Twitch specifically Mm -hmm. and outside of Discord, utilize networking on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Whatever platforms you're on and comfortable with. Yeah, whatever platforms on and whatever platforms they are on. Yep. Head over there. Because, again, I get a lot of questions, actually, from my community on, like, how can I become, like, a moderator? Or how can I be able to help and support you more? A big thing that all creators will notice is if you have the same name on all of your different platforms because sometimes people have a different twitch name than like their i Discord. have a different yeah, yeah. like th- sometimes that happens but like if you are going in and they and that content creator is seeing you on your like your twitch streams on your tiktok comments mm-hmm. on your youtube comments on your instagram on your twitter on all of your different platforms and they are constantly seeing your name and seeing your support that is a great way to be able to get your name out there. And that's shameless. You're showing support. You're supporting them. You're liking their content. You're engaging with yes. it. You're commenting. You're helping them boost their content to get to other people. Yeah. That's a great way for you to be able to grow yeah. organically. And honestly, I'll, I'll be so real. I notice that more than I even do someone showing up in my stream. Mm-hmm. Like, I have content other content creators that follow me and when they pop up on like onto my tiktoks and like comment on my tiktok that means so much to me literally like honestly because that goes so far when it comes to like algorithms and your um posts being put out there more that goes so far so i like i appreciate that a lot so i try to do that for as many people as i can um i used to be a dead uh, I used to be a dead viewer on mm-hmm. like things like Instagram and TikTok. I would never content on, or like comment on people's things. Never did. Right. And then I was listening to, oh, whose podcast was it? Oh, it was the What We Said podcast. And mm-hmm. they were talking about um, like when you're on TikTok, like there's a special little way of like you post, you boost, you comment on your, like you respond to the comments on your things. Mm-hmm. And then you should also be commenting on other people's stuff like that goes a long freaking way especially within the niche or niche whichever one it is called and whichever people prefer (laughs) um but within whatever content space that you're in so like for me being a rocket league coach i follow other rocket league coach and or rocket league coaches and Mm -hmm. rocket league based content and i'm commenting i'm liking other people's comments that they're putting i'm getting my name out there in a genuine way Mm -hmm. showing support to other creators in that space because that is the space that you want to be in and going above and beyond is like reaching out to people's comments doing the research seeing what people are commenting because that's again not only a way for you to show support but it's also a way for you to research so you're doing two things at once you're seeing what people are asking for what questions are coming from the comments on other creators like videos and mm-hmm. seeing what you can do as a creator to fill a need if there is one. Oh yeah. So building relationships, being organic and growing and showing support goes a long freaking way. It does way. go a really long way. Uh, another thing that w- we'll just hit very vaguely because this is a little bit more of like a kind of, uh, it's hit or miss kind of, but attending events. So again, this mm-hmm. is something that you have to kind of like put financial investment yeah, into. Yeah, not so. everyone can do it, but it's a good And it doesn't tidbit. happen all the time, right? There's not a way for you to be able to know, like, an event isn't happening every single week specifically for, like, live streaming. 
But yeah. like TwitchCon happens once a year. If you're adamant and you're like really invested in wanting to grow relationships, and that's your main driving force to be able to grow a community, because mm-hmm. that comes first. Mm-hmm. Going to these live events and being able to network with people in real life rather than online, putting a true face to the name and meeting with people yeah. outside of an online setting, yeah. that goes a long way. Yeah, I, I personally, I can't wait to go this mm-hmm. year. I feel like it's going to be so much fun to get to know those people and to uh, just communicate IRL with Absolutely. people that we love and we've built relationships with online. But there's also things like, um, specifically, I know this is like kind of more my content style Mm -hmm. but there are events online that happen all the time like people streamers will host like in animal crossing people Mm -hmm. will stream um like proms or parties or birthday parties in stream that you can attend like those are events to hang out in and to go to i think those are fun ways i don't know if there's like much for rocket league and stuff like that well it just depends i I think i'll segue this into another category and kind of tell like how i've been able to grow my discord server with this because attending events and meetups but also being within your niche or niche on like different communities so like reddit is a huge one huge reddit and discord (laughs) have major communities out there within whatever content space that you're in Mm -hmm. so if you are like me with rocket league there's rocket league servers there's big creators that have rocket league servers you can engage in those communities and get your name out there for people who are not on twitch it's another like getting your name out there on all platforms is how you grow because there's people that are not on twitch and let's face it twitch is hard to grow on organically Mm -hmm. but you can do it in the ways of interacting with other streamers that are roughly around your same size getting your name out there within the content space or category but doing that in and out of twitch yeah. is how you grow your community and your following yeah. so that when you do go live you can transact and have yes. these new friendships mm-hmm. come over to want to support you so for me being in or being active in like i'm a rocket league coach so i find rocket league content i find rocket league servers on reddit on discord and mm-hmm. i'm like interacting with people and being like hey how's it going yeah. and i'm like There's some servers that have channels of like, hey, like improve your gameplay. So I'm messaging people and like giving them tips and allowing them to be like, hey, like if you want more, feel free to hit me up in this server. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that will respond with people wanting to directly message me and be like, hey, I really need help. And I'll let them know like, hey, like I do this live on my own Twitch channel. So there's ways to go about this in a way that's not coming across and not making your name look like, okay, I'm only using your server as a means to benefit myself. Mm -hmm. No, I'm interacting, I'm supporting your channel, I'm helping your content, Mm -hmm. and I'm also getting my name out there so that people know like, hey, you're you're at a bigger stage right now, you might not be able to hit that specific individual, but as a content creator, you have that ability to Mm -hmm. do that while you're growing. Yep, like you said before, like there's always small gaps and holes missing Mm -hmm. and you can find a way to fill those you are gonna see just growth beyond what you could imagine like as i said earlier when we had the little joke about like genuine mindset and business mindset (laughs) yeah when you create a business you're trying to find a convenience or like trying to be able to find a service that provides convenience to others Mm -hmm. that's like how a business is created Mm -hmm. so if you're doing that in a manner of twitch find something that you can do whether that's like tips and tricks Mm -hmm. if you're like really trying to like um i don't know give back like you have love tank refills so yes. that you be able, you're able to like really pour into other people and make them feel loved and sometimes mm-hmm. that's really needed that's like a mental boost for some people yeah so there's different ways that you can go about marketing yourself but mm-hmm. like for me i found a need people want coaching and they want coaching for free yeah. and i can provide that mm-hmm. way to wrap it up be yourself be genuine I think when people are like, well, how do you make it be genuine? I think that's your, literally, that's your answer right there. Just do it. Like, literally just be genuine. Because I feel like we get asked often, like, how do you be so genuine? And like, how do you make it feel so organic? It's like, because you are. Here's the answer on how to be genuine. Do not go about it in a way of self-promoting yourself. Allow people to reach out to you when you're being organic and being genuine and other spaces online Mm -hmm. so on reddit 
on Discord, on comment sections, wherever that might be, allow other people to reach out to you mm -hmm. if you're providing a, like, it or you're feeling It just naturally happens. It will naturally happen. You know, happen. and we haven't talked about this. You need to raid people. Oh. Raid every single time that you're live streaming and raid into someone who has a similar uh, view count so that you can double their view count. That goes a long way. I think we hit this on the last we episode. We did hit it on the last episode, but it is a huge part of networking. Like mm -hmm. if you are in first in someone's chat, talking with them, getting to know them, or you're already a part of their discord actively, and then they see that you raided them, it's going to click in their brains and they'll be like, oh wait, you've been in my discord like this whole week, or you've been like in my streams That's a and great you way just to raided build, yeah. me. Like that is, and then they like feel like, wow, this is a genuine person who cares about me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like shout them out. I'm going to see who, what they're all about That's now. a good one. And that just that, reminded me. that clicks in that, that yep. other segue. That's, that's right there. Gold. That is the way that you go about promoting yourself if you're finding creators and then they're live when you're about to end and they're roughly around the same size as you and you haven't hit them up with, oh, I'm a live streamer. You raid into them, then they're like, OMG, you are that active, you supported me mm -hmm. in my live streams and now you're raiding yeah. me? Has that ever happened to you? That, ha that doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often, but it's happened to me before. And I was like, <gasps> like I had no idea they were a streamer. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, Which, that what was a genuine so cool. way to get a yeah. heartfelt reaction from somebody yeah. and build up a friendship tenfold. Because mm -hmm. then you're like, you really supported me. You supported my channel and you were connecting with me. And then you hit me up with a like raid after the fact. Yeah. Even if it doesn't happen on the same day. Like... I've had people that sometimes will do this and they're in my channel, they're active, and then they'll hit me up with a raid after the fact, but it doesn't happen often. Mm -hmm. So be that individual yeah. that's being super engaging, be, be super like supportive, hype somebody up within their live streams, and then if you are raiding into them and you're doubling their viewership, especially as a new creator, even if you have two and you're raiding into somebody with two, that's do huge. Yeah. Do it. That's how you build these mm -hmm. relationships and how you can grow your server. Yep. And then you're both growing together in the category and support one. Like literally you guys just support each other. I feel like it's not, it doesn't happen enough. Yep. We need to be Supportive. supporting other creators and this is not a, this is not a linear growth. Like no. it's, this is not you yourself and yourself mm -hmm. or you yourself and I. Everyone grows together. That's how you make it. That is, <laughs> That's how you do it. You have Simple to be that. in other areas and other people, and you have to support your friends. Yeah. Because we talked about this, and we'll go into a little bit more. You supporting other members within your community, within your space, is growing your entire community as a whole. Mm -hmm. So if you're raiding somebody and then they're going to be live for another two hours, they're reaching people within their community. And then if they raid into you, with those new people, then that might be new viewers because you might be on when they're not on, mm -hmm. vice versa. And then if they're if they're raiding people that aren't you, but they're still growing that community, it's a whole like yep. snowball effect of growth. Yes. So you want to support other people, you want to create other friends, create streamer friends, and be able to support them so that they will support you in return. Yep. I guess for a final tidbit, this is it. This is key. This is the key thing, you guys. Focus on building long-term connections rather than just trying to promote your stream. Mm -hmm. It that is just That's to sum the, it up. Yep. That is it. It's Pretty all much. about relationships. It is not about numbers. Nope. And analytics. Like you, every person in your stream is not is a real person. It's not just a number, and you have to view it like that. Like. Like your, your six viewers or your two viewers or your 50 viewers, those aren't just numbers. Those are real people and you need to focus on the individual and remember that. And um, and someone else, another streamer isn't just another account. Mm -hmm. They aren't just another streamer. They're a real human being. Acknowledge them as that mm -hmm. and grow those relationships and friendships. So yeah. Yeah, like a huge thing is uh, there's, a, there's a big opportunity when you are... A smaller creator when you're mm -hmm. just starting out because you can be extremely personable yeah. with your viewership take advantage of it oh my build goodness. those relationships and really care about them like make others feel like i feel so supportive mm -hmm. i feel so appreciated 
and that goes a yeah. long freaking way yes, it does. and having people know like any time that I show up in Ebel stream or I so I show up in Getsy stream I'm gonna be showered with love mm-hmm. and appreciation that goes a long way especially yeah. when you get into the, the higher numbers like 50 or 60 that's 60 human people that are human in- people <laughs> human lives human beings that are in your channel that are supporting you they're taking time out of their day to support you and your growth and your community that goes a long freaking way and all 60 or whatever that number is should be shown massive amounts of appreciation from you Mm -hmm. and there is there will get to a time where you can't hit every single message anymore So as a smaller creator, you have that opportunity to really make sure that you're building these relationships and and you're exactly, and that is the biggest thing that you can do as a smaller creator. Because Mm -hmm. if you're really showing a lot of love and appreciation as a small creator, that is what will constantly be bringing people back. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you guys, I feel like this was such a fun episode. I don't know. I love talking about just like caring about others and loving on them. So that made me, this just made me feel so loved and and just fulfilled. It made me feel so good. I think a big thing is we really are just so grateful and lucky to be in the position that we have been in. And the community that we've been slowly growing has been nothing short of amazing. Yeah. And we really just want everyone to know that is watching this podcast and that's supporting us that we love you guys. Yeah. And we could not be doing what we're doing without your support for you sharing our content, for you liking and commenting and rating Spotify as a five star podcast. Um, <laughs> but just. We love you. Thank just, you. Literally, like from the bottom of our hearts, I hope you all know that we really love and appreciate all of you and the the time that you spend with us online and in our discord servers and and on stream literally we love you guys thank you so much for listening to this episode of the podcast we'll definitely be seeing you guys soon don't forget to hit up on all the socials leave some comments rate the podcast on spotify Mm -hmm. we love you and feel free to ask us questions if there's something else that we miss that you guys want to know more about leave it in the comment section below we'll try to hit those in the next pod and we can't wait to talk to you again soon we love you so so much Alrighty. Have a good week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.